Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about visual perception, where vision happens to be the medium by which information re reaches the brain. And what the brain makes out of that information is perception. Now why is really visual perception important? For academic reasons like reading, writing, maths, we need to make sense of what we are seeing. Cutting, pasting, drawing, coloring, puzzles, and even while doing our daily activities like dressing, searching for required items for our routine, grooming, everything requires visual perception. What if any kid has problem with visual perception and we just let it be? Then their class performance, even the completion of their exams, doing their worksheets, even their handwriting depends so much on it and will get grossly affected, which of course will reduce their self-esteem and confidence. So we need to understand how visual perception works. It is done in eight separate parts. The first is known as visual attention. When we simply focus on what is there in our environment and try to filter out the information which seems less relevant. Visual discrimination. When we try to differentiate between things or try to find similarities between things. Then we have visual memory. We need to recall the details of whatever we have seen and if they are in a certain sequence of or order, it's called as visual sequential memory. What if we have to find objects in a cluttered background? Then that becomes visual figure ground. And if the object is partly hidden, if we are trying to find it, we immediately recognize it, which is visual closure. We know the forms and shapes of objects, even sometimes when their size or orientation has changed, it becomes visual form constancy. And finally, when we are trying to relate to objects with respect to each other, whether they are above, below, that is visual spatial relations. The very specific problems that your child can face in visual perception is that they will find it difficult to perform puzzles, the spatial concepts of in, out, above, below will be affected. They can make reversals of letters, especially small letters like B, D, P and Q. The sequence of alphabets in the words they can get confused with. When they have to complete some pictures or drawings, they might do it wrong. If they have to sort or categorize objects, they will find it difficult. And even scanning the environment to even retrieve their personal items will be very difficult. As far as specific academic problems come, they are that they will frequently lose space while reading or writing. They will get confused between left and right side of their bodies or general locating them. The line number, page number, paragraph concept will not be understood by them. Copying from the board or even from the book to the notebook will be very difficult and their overall eye-hand coordination will also be affected. Let me know how informative this video was. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know any other topics that you want me to cover in the Road to Rehab channel. We will meet again. Bye.